requests for new service connections are a common occurrence in utilities and telecommunications. But without a WebGIS, it can be a difficult task to get back to the customer with a timely and accurate quote of how much it's going to cost to build out that new service connection. So let's take a look at how WebGIS and the suite of ArcGIS field apps can allow your organizations to have faster quote times with higher accuracy. Here on my mobile device, I have access to a serviceability application solution template that allows me to instantly qualify potential customers. Here we have a list of new service requests that have come in. As a direct sales representative, I can be on site with a customer and have instant access to a tool that allows me to provide a cost quote for this customer. Now using spatial analysis, a route or potential network buildout will be returned with a cost estimate. This route has been optimized based off of poles or other sites that we could potentially attach to, which we can see here in our pole availability heat map. The cost quote that was generated is then based off of the total length of the build and how much aerial build is required for this new service connection. But in order for us to run this type of spatial analysis, we need to understand what poles or sites are available for us to attach to. So let's equip our field engineers with the tools and apps that they need to go out and collect that information. ArcGIS offers three out-of-the-box native applications for field data collection. Collector, Survey123, and drone to map for this site inspection survey, we're going to use the form-centric Survey123. Now the new web designer, a part of Survey123, makes creating smart forms very easy. Here we have a telecom site inspection survey form, which I've already started. What I need to do now is finish up by adding a few additional fields so we can send it out with our field engineers to start collecting this data. First, I'll add a multi-line text field for comments. Then I'll add a date field for the survey date. And we'll make the default value the submitting date and make this a required question. Finally, I'll add a geo point. This will allow our field engineers to enter in the exact location of the pole or other site that we potentially can attach to. We'll change our default map to our imagery and make this a required question. Now as soon as I save this and share it, it's instantly available to our field engineers to start collecting information on poles and sites. So let's take a look at what this form looks like on our web browser. Here's what the same form will look like on our smartphone. Now Survey123 allows you to create very sophisticated smart forms, which allow questions to be brought up based off of a user's previous answers. For example, if I choose our attachment type as telecom, my list of potential owners is different than my list of owners for a utility. Now Survey123 can allow you to take advantage of it being a mobile application on your smartphone, which means you can integrate Survey123 with your camera to enable barcode scanning. And now you can also take a photo of a feature in the field and now draw and sketch notes directly on the attached photo. So let's take a look at another app, Workforce for ArcGIS. Workforce for ArcGIS allows management teams to quickly assign surveys and other field work. Workforce can be integrated directly into a larger work order management system using the SDK and APIs, or it can be quickly deployed as a standalone app to assign some field work. Let's assign a few work orders to a field engineer to go out and assess the areas directly around our new service request. With Workforce, you can create an assignment based off of a survey grid. Now these survey grids, which were once created by the GIS team to allow for field maps to be created and sent out with our field engineers, can now be used to assign work orders directly within Workforce. Let's create one more assignment for the survey area 
directly around the service request. It'll be a multi-site inspection. We'll assign it to Tyler West, give it a high priority, due date of today at 8.45. Now that we've created these two work orders, let's see how the suite of ArcGIS field apps can allow our field engineers to streamline their field surveys. As a field engineer, I have access to Workforce Mobile on my tablet. Two new high priority surveys have just come in. Workforce allows me to select that survey and zoom to exactly where the location is of that work order and see the survey grid that I need to go out and survey. I can start this work order to let my manager know in the back office that I have started work for the day. Now Workforce for ArcGIS integrates directly with the suite of ArcGIS field apps, which means that I can navigate to this assignment using disconnected turn-by-turn -turn directions. I can open up our telecom attachment site inspection survey in survey 123, or I can start collecting other field data directly at this assignment. So as a field engineer, I notice that a particular asset from our outside plant facility map is in the wrong location on our map. So I want to let our engineers in the back office know to update the location of this asset. So let's add a map note around the area of interest. This map note will let our engineers know where we have an issue with our outside plant facility map. Next thing I want to do is associate some red lines with this map note so we can designate the exact location of where this asset should be. It'll be the correct location and we'll place it here on the map. Now if I wanted a more accurate location than me just clicking on the map, we could integrate Collector directly into a high accuracy GPS device. Once I have completed my field surveys, collecting poles and other sites that we could potentially attach to, we can finish up our two work orders. And because we were using the suite of ArcGIS field apps, we were able to streamline our field surveys. So I want to let my manager know that I've finished early. And we'll finish up this assignment. So now that we have equipped our field engineers with the apps and the tools to be able to go out and perform these surveys, let's take a look at how all of this comes together. Here we have the new web version of Operations Dashboard. We've configured this dashboard for management teams to see the status of all of our service requests as well as the performance of our quotes. In the map, we can see the locations of all of the service requests, as well as the real-time locations of our field engineers out collecting information on potential poles and other sites that we can attach to. So far, we've collected 102 sites this week. On the left-hand side, we have a list of all of the new service requests that have come in, and across the top, we have charts that let us know the status of all of our requests. On the right-hand side, we have a list of our completed service requests with the ability to zoom to the original service request for Jack's Famous Coffee. In the map, we can see what that quoted route was as well as our poll availability heat map. And finally, on the right hand side, we have two charts. The first is our quote accuracy chart. The second is our quote response time chart. So over the years, as we've equipped more of our field engineers with the ArcGIS field apps to go out and collect information on sites that we potentially could attach to, our quote accuracy has increased. While our direct sales representatives have had access to our serviceability app using our serviceability analysis, they have been able to reduce the time that it has taken them to quote a customer. So the suite of ArcGIS field apps allows your organizations to have faster quote times with higher accuracy. And your organizations will always have access to the dynamic field maps that you need to be able to get your surveys done faster. And you as GIS professionals will be able to show your management teams your GIS success. So the next time 
you consider using a paper MacBook to be able to go out and do your field surveys, consider how you can use some or all of the ArcGIS field apps. Thank you.